Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. This week, I exercised and ate like Pamela Rife. I was low-key scared because Pamela's workouts are hard. And in the past, I always struggled with them. However, I truly wanted to challenge myself for this next week. I will be rating each day for you on my own scale of happiness going from 1 to 7, 1 being the lowest and 7 the highest. For the next few days, I will be training with Pamela's 45 minute sweat workout plan and I will be cooking recipes for my Pam app. Are you ready? Let's go! Pamela said it is a good mood Monday. Hello guys, I hope that you are just as ready to talk all things Pamela Rife for the next few minutes as I am. Now, I try to make this a classic review, but it just didn't feel right. Don't worry, you will still see all the ratings for the workouts and the meals, but I will not focus on telling you how I rate a porridge on a scale from 1 to 7. I am here to talk about bigger things today. Pamela wanted us to start the week with a good mood Monday, and honestly, I was all here for that. A positive mindset is important every day, and a lot of people struggle with Mondays because somehow they just seem extra hard. <sighs> I'm dead. For Pamela, a good mood is set by doing a high intensity workout and an ab finisher. But that does not have to apply for you. Maybe you find happiness in leg day, upper body day, booty day, or ice cream, pancakes, porridge, Netflix, taking walks, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. But if you know, use that knowledge. Whenever you feel down, do something that makes you feel good. I have to be honest, I was low-key scared of Pamela's workouts for this week because in the past I struggled so hard with them. And yes, the first day left me feeling a little bit discouraged because Pamela's HIIT workouts are actually high intensity. There are no breaks, high impact, 45 minutes going non-stop. Don't do this unless you feel like you're capable to. Also, one thing I really want to mention right away. Pamela does not include warm-ups in her plan for most of the days. The only day that had a warm-up was day 3, which was upper body day. But warm-ups are crucial every day, especially if you're new to exercise, prone to injuries, or you just feel extra cold that day. Warm yourself up. Taking the risk of injuring yourself is not worth it. We need our bodies to be healthy. Proper form doing a workout and a good warm-up before are essential for that. Oh, it's so cold. Food-wise, day one was good. Not outstanding, but good. I did choose all of the meals myself within the PAM app, of course, and I did miss a lot of protein, though. I didn't want to substitute it right away with powder because I know Pamela does not support that, but spoiler, that mindset lasted up until day four, and then I gave it up. If you work out, you have to give your body something back. These meals are Pamela style. They are made for and by her, primarily in mind. They will work out great for many out there, but maybe not for you. And that's okay. That does not mean that you can't make it work. Overall, for a day one, I'm rating the workout a 4 because of the lack of enjoyability. However, it was hard, which I loved. The food is getting a 6, but that's all due to the amazing pesto noodles. Overall, we have a solid score of 5. Day two was booty day, and that one, let me tell you, was so hard, but so good. We used resistance bands, it was all fun, Pamela was actually talking to us, which made everything a lot more enjoyable for me, even though I do have to admit, her music choice usually is really good, it's not the usual EDM kind of music, and I just vibe to it. Now, one thing that I noticed and that I really want to tell you guys, when choosing your PAM plan, make sure that you know that the given times aren't accurate. I went with a 45 minute sweat plan and there wasn't a single day under 50 minutes. Now, I don't mind that because I'm a dental student on winter break and I take my time for my workouts. But if you have work, school or something else to do, make sure you choose a plan that fits your day. You shouldn't rush through a workout because a workout should be something that you enjoy. I used to work out on a time pressure knowing that I still had to do this and that and let me tell you my workout suffered because i wasn't giving my very best because i wasn't focused because i thought about all the other things i still had to do the next day 
Choose a good time of the day for your workouts and decide however many days you want to work out. Pamela goes with the classic five days a week approach. You will find that in many other fitness influencers guides and plans. I work out every day, but not because I'm forcing myself to or because I want to be extra fit, but because it makes my day better. For you, this could be too much. Pamela's five days could be perfect, or maybe you have to go with three or two or just one. It doesn't matter. Just don't feel discouraged because you couldn't finish the five days because you only did four or three out of Pamela's plan. If your body told you to take a break, it's good that you took it. Doing things half-heartedly is never going to get you anywhere. Normal one tastes better. This is very light, but there is popcorn in it. I have an ice cream Day two's workout for me is getting a six. It was very enjoyable and still hard at the same time. Pamela for sure has some good booty workouts. The food is getting a six as well. We had a similar situation to day one with the porridge being a little bit basic, but dinner being absolutely phenomenal. We had a classic German dish, but healthy and easier to make, and it was so good. And that makes a solid score of six for day two. Hello and happy Wednesday, everyone. Good morning and back at it again. Can you actually believe that Pamela made us do a warm up on Upper Body Day? Insane. I feel like the six pack workout is going to kill me now. Upper Body Day wasn't my favorite, and that's simply because Upper Body Day sucked. Sorry, Pamela, you couldn't save this one for me. It was still somewhat fun, and I will never neglect my upper body, and so should you, because we need strength in our whole body. Never neglect any part of your body, please. Whether that means that you only train legs, only arms, only cardio, only weights, only working out 24-7, or only chilling and eating 365 days a year. Our bodies need balance. This doesn't mean that you need 45 minutes of high intensity exercise every day, but move your body on your level. Make yourself feel good and take care of preventing illnesses and diseases in the future by taking care now. You don't need Pamela Wright for this. Maybe she can help you and that's great, but all you need first and for all is yourself. You have to take care of yourself, and that does not only mean working out regularly, it means nourishing yourself with good and proper food. Your food doesn't need to be 100% healthy with perfect macros and low calories. Your food should make you work. It should be something that you enjoy, that you look forward to, but nothing that controls your day. I'm telling you this right now because maybe you thought about going on a diet, maybe you thought about starting a challenge like this one, and I know how hard it can be not letting the counting getting into your head. I struggled with sliding into eating disorders by tracking my calories and macros, and that's why for this challenge, I made the decision I wouldn't care. Yes, I would cook with Pamela's recipes, but I wouldn't stick to her portion sizes. The of course, this would have made this challenge so perfect, but it's not about perfection. It's about happiness and living your best life. And if a challenge like this would just be one big restriction, then what's the point of doing this? Seven hours since the last text. I don't want to encourage you guys to restrict yourself. I want you to take good care of your body. Restriction is something that I see with a lot of fitness influencers out there. They spread the message that you can only be fit when you restrict yourself. Even Pamela herself said in her Instagram oh God, story that she's creating recipes that are low calorie to fit the fitness life. But what does that even mean? Unless you are heavily obese and you have to go on a diet to save your body, there is no such thing as the fitness life, at least not for 90% of us. Because this is not our job. Our body should be our main priority, yes. But it's not our job to have a six pack. We have to make sure that we are healthy, not that we look like we could be on the cover of Shape magazine. Pamela's body is her job, so since her body being her brand, things are a little bit different for her. The reason why I don't like restriction is because it will usually always lead to us overeating at one point and losing a healthy relationship with food. I'm a big advocate for eating intuitively and diets make you lose that feeling. If you want to download the PAM app, do so. The recipes are great. But unless you really, really, really have to lose weight, I want you to forget about the calories when you look at our recipes. Draw inspiration from them because they really are good. But don't break loose in the never ending cycle of tracking and counting. That is not a life worth living. 
happy Friday. Everyone. And just like that, we reached day number five of the Pam challenge. So far, this has been much more fun than I anticipated it to. The food was great, the workouts are much more manageable than I thought them to be, and using the stretch day the day before as a little switch up for training with Lily was a nice refresh. I'm someone who gets bored by repetition, that being repeating circles and workouts, trainers favoring the same movement in their different workouts, or seeing the same trainer every day. Every girl that I train with has a different approach to exercise, and I love that. This week, I loved getting to know Pamela and her style of exercising, as it has given me some ideas and inspirations for my future workouts. The one thing that I did miss though, besides the warm-up, were instructions about proper form. It's always quality over quantity, and yes, you can make it through those high-intensity 30-second sets without breaking down, but if your form was lacking, the effect is minimized and the chance of getting injured maximized. There were a few things that I noticed, of course me having completely perfect form and now criticizing Pamela Rive over hers. It's mainly the neutral spine position though. And that is such a crucial part because your spine and your spinal cord literally carry out your whole body and its functions. You have to take care that you don't endure that. The damage can go much deeper than a crooked posture. I know you missed my spoken ratings for the past two days, so here I am back at it again with final scores. Our booty and thigh day is getting another 6 for me. As I already mentioned, Pamela's booty workouts are great and they actually hurt so much. The food I'm rating is 7 because the sweet scrambled eggs were so good and dinner was quick and effective but still very tasty. Overall, day 5 of the Pam challenge technically scores a 6.5 but I'm making it a 7. It's the last Pamela workout. And here we are guys, reaching the finish line of this challenge. I want to use the weekend to reflect on the past week, telling you about all the things that I liked and that I disliked. A final recap, a final result, a final recommendation. Day 6 was a Saturday, and it was another cardio and abs day. Pamela puts her focus on legs, cardio and abs, the first two burning the most, and the second one I guess just fits the fitness life. I mean, I don't want to complain, who wouldn't want to have abs even though they aren't a necessity? On top of that, core workouts are about much more than getting a six pack, they are rather about gaining core stability, which helps with posture. I already said it and I will say it again. This week has been much more fun than I expected. Pamela's workouts are high intensity and you will sweat and burn a lot, but that's only one side of the medal. It's not only about burning calories, working out shouldn't be about that. And that's the big message that I'm trying to spread here. It should be about having fun and yes, I did have fun. But I can already tell you, I will not be starting to exercise exclusively with Pamela from now on, but I will incorporate a few of her ab and stretching videos in my future routines. The latter are very short and sweet which I love because most stretching videos are 20 minutes long and I personally do not have the time for that. The food throughout the last week was really good, but I would always look at Pamela's recipes as a basic guide, adding my own flavor with more spices to it. Keep in mind, you never have to stick to a recipe for 100%. Make it fun, make it your own. You will definitely find a lot of inspiration in Pamela's recipes. I also loved how many vegetables she includes because I personally always struggle with integrating them in a fun and non-plain way. And no, of course I couldn't end this video without shortly touching on the Pam app, which by the way, I absolutely love. It is probably my favorite fitness app out there at the moment and there's so much thought behind, constant updates to make it even better and Pamela really is big on user experience and happiness. I especially enjoyed the cooking mode and the recipes. I need that from now on whenever I cook, okay? To close things off here, the price is phenomenal with around two dollars, euros or pounds, you name it. I really want to advise you guys to download this app. It is really worth it. Results. I didn't measure myself. I didn't take before and after pictures because expecting physical change within a week? Come on guys, we all know better than that. 
Once again, I didn't do this for changing my body. I wanted to try out something new, challenging myself a little, and give you guys my honest opinion about Pamela's workouts and her diet. And that is, they're all great. However, the workouts I would recommend to people who are not complete beginners. You guys need to learn about proper form. You will need breaks, you will need guidance. If you lack these things, you might lose motivation, and we don't want that. We want fun in our lives, and we want to enjoy our days. So go grab some snacks, read a book, watch Netflix, chill, work out, do whatever you want. But go and have a good time for me. See you next time.